It's not good to date comics. Like, comics are the worst, because we just, we just want to get a laugh, whether it's on stage or off stage. And a, a perfect, and like, if you get comics around each other, all we want to do is try and one-up each other on practical jokes. Uh, last month, I'm in a green room with two other comics. We're waiting for the show, and this other comic, Dean, walks into the green room hammered, just stumbles in. He goes, what's up, guys? We're like, hey, what's up, Dean? He goes, not much. I got a new tattoo. You guys want to see it? So we're like, sure, Dean, show us your new tattoo. He goes, all right, hold on. <laughs> Lifts his shirt, undoes his pants, and drops everything. Jeans, un and we're all sitting down, so now we're eye level <laughs> with his personality, right? So, so immediately, all of us are like, Jesus, Dean, what are you doing? And they were like, all right, all right, Dean, show us the new tattoo. And he goes, oh, okay, it's right here on my arm. <laughs> That is a perfect joke. It's got misdirection. It's a, it's a penis joke. <laughs> Little penis joke, technically. And, uh, and I play jokes too. Like I, I'm gonna tell you this story really quick. I'm telling you up front. You're not gonna like this story at first. I'm telling you up front, but it has a happy ending. Uh, me and five comics, we go to Vegas last year. We get to the airport, or we, well, we arrive in Vegas right around 11, go straight to the hotel. We check in at noon, get our key card. We come up to our room. We're walking into our room for the first time. As we walk into the room, over here on the beds are like girls' high heel shoes and dresses, and over here is like luggage. So I tell my buddies, I'm like, oh, dude, we're in, we're in somebody else's room. We gotta get out of here. Right as we're about to walk out, I grab my two buddies and I go, hey, go, go watch the door and just don't let anybody come in here for like five minutes. I go into these people's bathroom. I take the biggest dump I've ever took in my life. Relax. And then I don't flush it. Like, I leave it and then we leave, right? Relax. And at the time, I thought, oh, it's funny to me, you know, whatever. Well, we go downstairs, they give us a new key, we come back up. They gave us the room right next to the room that I just destroyed. A couple hours go by, all of a sudden, we hear a bunch of girls coming in that room. So immediately, I'm like, guys, guys, they're back, get over here. So now me and all five of my buddies are just on this wall, waiting and listening. All of a sudden, you hear one girl just go, yeah, I don't know, maybe later we get a, oh my God! Lisa, Lisa, get in here! <laughs> Lisa walks in there and just goes, bitch, what are you, ah, what is that? Oh my God, that's disgusting, Ugh. And how is that movie, Ugh, how did I get this? She goes, I don't understand this. Who would do something like, where's Becky, Becky? Now, I don't know who Becky is, but I think we all have a Becky in our group of friends. Like, like I'm Becky, that in my friends that just gets blamed for everything. Becky walks in immediately, they're on there. Becky, did you do this? Oh, oh my God, no, I didn't do this. Becky, this is something you would do. She goes, no, I didn't do it. Becky, if you don't fess up, you can't come on trips with us anymore. I didn't do it. There's five other girls here. Why are you just asking me? Becky, fess up. I didn't do it. Then you hear one girl just go, oh, really, Becky, really? So what? Somebody just came in here, took a dump, and then just left. And I'm on the wall like, that's exactly what happened. All right, guys, I gotta get out of here. Thank you.